Hi, and welcome to Tranquility Fountain Farm. We are a farm in the Mediterranean, in the foothills of the Pyrenees, uh, France. And we grow more than 20 species of uh, moss, uh, liverwort, and um, lichen. Today I'm going to talk to you about Luca Bryan moss, which is a beautiful moss. Um, it's actually become extremely fashionable in um, even small terrariums that you can find in garden centers and stuff. You'll probably recognize it. It's quite distinctive. It's quite distinctive because it's a cushion moss. And this is quite a small piece. A small, tiny piece. Um, it's quite distinctive because of the color and the little sort of branches the um they're sort of uh spiky uh little stars like exploding firework kind of looking things i can't make it focus okay um and uh, when it's dry it goes into like a turquoise kind of blue green color this one's um sort of uh less blue than it usually is actually and then when it's moist it's dark green uh, so this, this moss likes to grow on like rotting wood. You'd find it in forests, um, and it can like cover entire stumps that are rotting stumps, um, looking gorgeous, like cushioning out all over the place. And the way this would propagate sort of naturally is two ways. One with the spores and the other one, uh, you can see like little, little bits falling off. Uh, yeah, a little bit fell off then, and um, it that's how it would propagate uh, in nature. Like an animal would walk over the stump and knock a bit off, and then the rainwater would wash it a little bit further down, and uh, then it would grow there. Um, but it does like to have its substrates, which which is sort of forest earth and a lot of sort of rotting hardwood like oak. So what I'm going to do is, um, what I've done is I've collected um, um, like lots of rot rotting wood from the forest and I've crumbled it up into as small a pieces as I possibly can. So I'm pointing the camera in the right place. And that's what I'm just going to do. I'm going to do it as if it, would, as if it was natural and I would cut a little piece off. Kind of. Okay. Right. Um, so just take a little piece. We want it to grow pretty quick. So let's let's say we're gonna divide this. I've got like twelve pots, so let's divide this into twelve. And so I can show you the what it looks like inside. You see it's quite long. And this is like I said a small piece. So um let me show you. Refusing to focus. Focus on the mass. There. Okay. Um, so it can grow like this thick and really cushion out beautifully. So I'm going to cut that again. Little piece. You see? And you see how I've got the roots here? Oops, sorry. The roots. Uh, the roots are here and the, the the plant itself comes up here so I'm just gonna plant that in there give it a nice uh, moisture and uh, cover it cover it with a plastic bag or I've, I like to use food containers <laughs> where are they? they're over here um, over here so I like to use food containers because uh, they're like little garden garden houses what do you call them greenhouses um, there. You pop this in here close it you know put uh, that much water in and uh, yeah there you have it it'll it'll grow very nicely in there uh, allow it to have some light not too much light and um, not too hot like in the 20s up to 25 there you go um, if you would like to uh, buy 
Um, many different kinds of mosses. Like I said, we have uh, 20 different species of liverwort, moss, and lichen. But we also have herbal uh, remedy um, seeds, roots um, for medicinal plants. So you can make your own medicinal gardens as well. So go to our website, which is tranquility-fountain-farm.com. And yeah, check out all the stuff that we have. It's pretty cool. Um, thank you very much for watching. Like if you like, subscribe if you wish to. And uh, tune in again for more crazy, wacky stuff. <laughs> um, bye from Citizen in the Mediterranean, foothills of the Pyrenees, France. Take care, bye.